We're just gonna run a, a short little video today about how to track your dice rolls when you're practicing at home. So we're not really worried about running our strategy right now. We're just tracking what we're doing with our dice rolls. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Crafts Master Journey. Let's make it yours too. So this method that we're gonna use today is brought to us by Toothpick Productions. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to his video where he shows how to do his dice roll tracking. But basically what happens is, every time he rolls a dice, whatever number shows on a dice, he'll throw a white chip out on whatever number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, we're gonna record it on the one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, I'm sorry, 10, 11, and 12. So that's where our white chip would go when it rolls. Now, if we have a come out seven or a come out 11, he'll use a red chip to record that. Okay, and then anytime that he makes his point, so let's say the point is nine and he rolls another nine, he would throw a green chip in that box so that would designate that he made that point. And that's his way of tracking to see how his dice rolls are going, how his dice sets are working, all that type of stuff. Hey, before we continue, I just wanted to give a heads up or a reminder. When you normally use this tracking method or any other tracking method on a table when you're practicing, you want to make sure that you use the same dice set all the time. So just kind of a heads up. Again, I'm just in a random throw today. And when you do practice this method, make sure that you do use the same dice set all the time so that we have consistent results. I'm not going to set the dice today. I'm just going to random roll so we can show you how the strategy works. So coming out. Looking for a point, we have a three, two, five. No field five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a one chip, a white chip, and we're gonna throw it in the five. Dice out. And we have a center field nine, five, four, nine. So we're gonna put a white chip on the nine. And we have a five, one, six mixer. So that's gonna be one chip on the six. And we have a six, five, mid mo yo. So we're gonna put one on the 11. And we have a two, five, seven out. Okay, so what we would do then is we would count up, see what we did. We have one, two, three, four, and then five rolls with that. And we kind of all around the board, so we have no patterns that are really developing as of right now. Let's do this one more time. See how it goes. Okay, coming out, looking for a point. And we have a three six, center field nine. So we'll put one out there. And dice out. Four one, five, no field five. That's gonna be a white chip. And we have a three, three hard six. Another white chip. And we have a six, two, eight. Put a white chip on that eight. And we have a three, four, seven out. So we're gonna put a white chip on that seven. And again, we can count them up, we got five chips. Now, the first time through, I cleared all the chips off. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave them out there so that way we can hopefully get a longer term pattern going on, okay? Coming out, look for a point. And we have a three, five, easy eight. So that'll be our point. We'll throw a chip out on that eight. And we have a five, four, center field nine. Another white chip. Three, one, four, big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So throw one down there on the four. Make sure you go and subscribe to my channel. Three, three, hard six. And we have a four, two, six. The six is starting to repeat itself quite a bit here. That's three times that we hit it in the two shooters. 
639 center field nine. Nine is also another hot number, and that's something that you could use when you start putting your strategies together. Two on three, Shaka, as well as it would go. And we have a six three center field nine again. So that's four hits on that nine. Five, four, nine. Nine is getting a big time, becoming a big time hot number. So that's something that you might want to start increasing your bet on that if you would consistently do that. And we have a five, one, six mixer. Chris with Sideshow Gamble. And another five, one, six mixer. So the six and the nine are the two hot numbers today so far. There we go. Four, five, center field nine. And we have a three, four, seven out. So hopefully that kind of gives you the idea of what's going on. Again, I borrowed the strategy from Ted at Toothpick Productions. I will leave a link in the description of my video to his video. Um, make sure that if you like these videos that I'm putting out, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Right now, 30% of my viewers are subscribers, 70% are not. Every little bit of help that you can give me by subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos will help get my videos out more in the YouTube system so that way I can help educate more people on how to play the game of craps. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Journey. Let's make it yours too.